glad to welcome to West Virginia the new president of Marshall University, Dr. Jerome Jerry Gilbert. Dr. Gilbert, good morning. Congratulations. Welcome to West Virginia. Good morning, Hoppy, and uh, thank you very much for having me on the show. I'm very excited about uh, moving to West Virginia and leading Marshall University. Well, it's great. It's great to have you here. You're at Mississippi State now, right, as a vice president? I am. Mm-hmm. How long, I am. How long uh, were you there? Or had you been there? Uh, I've been here a long time, 27 years, and um, uh, this is a new phase in my career, and I'm very excited to be transitioning from Mississippi State, which is a great university, to Marshall, which is another great university. So it's a great uh, opportunity for me and my wife, and we're very excited about it. What attracted you to Marshall? What attracted Marshall to you, do you believe? What, what's the nexus of the two of you? Um, I think Marshall is at a turning point in terms of being able to jump to the next level. Uh, I think they have got a lot of great things in place, and that was attractive to me, going to a school that has the potential for upward mobility in terms of their prestige, their size, their national recognition, Uh, also a very strong athletic program, which I'm I'm pleased about. Uh, And I think My background, I'm a biomedical engineer, and certainly Marshall has a strong liberal arts tradition, which I am very supportive of. Uh, But also, in recent years, the health-related fields, uh, the School of Medicine, uh, the STEM areas have been strong. So I think my background uh, in those areas were attractive to the Board of Governors, and I think that was one reason that they thought I might be a good leader for Marshall uh, in this next uh, period. So I'm excited to have the opportunity to do that. And I really do feel like we can take the base of the liberal arts and really add the health-related fields and the STEM to it and project a opportunity for high school students to come to Marshall and get a unique, very uh, powerful college education that will really prepare them for this century. So that's what I'm excited about in terms of the uh, academic programs that Marshall has to offer. Dr. Jerome Jerry Gilbert is with us, new president of Marshall University, takes over the the first of the year. Dr. Gilbert, since you have a career in higher education and you've been a vice president for many years, you know that big institutions are hard to ch- can be hard to change. The things are kind of set in their ways. They're like right. this big ship. So there are going to be things that you want to do or things that need to be done. How do you what how do you as a leader make those changes? I think. You know, you have to be a good communicator, and that's something that I've told the search committee and also all the groups that I've met on campus. I want to be visible. I want to not only be talking to people, but I want to be listening to the campus. And I think by creating a sense that we're in this on a team together and that we're going to move the university forward, I think you can create an energy and a sense of togetherness that will help you sort of Uh, bring people around to new ideas and new vision, particularly when you can create a vision that's exciting to people. And that's what I want to do is create an exciting vision for the future of Marshall so that everyone wants to be on board. And I think that's what you have to do. You have to communicate and you have to be able to create an image or a vision for the future. This this will be a significant change for you too, Dr. Gilbert, I would presume because you've been a vice president for many years and vice presidents have to make tough decisions, but ultimately they can pass it off on the president and say, well, here's the info. You got to, you got to, it's, it's on your desk. Now it's, now it's on your desk, Mr. President. Right. Well, I, you know, my president and I at Mississippi State have a very good relationship and he has not tried to assume any of the uh, responsibilities that I have to do. So I've had my share of uh, tough decisions to make, and I have uh, actually made them and, and have been accountable for them, as has the president. So we've not shifted everything up to the president. Um, so I've had those tough decisions, and making tough decisions is not hard for me, particularly when I have studied the situation, looked at the data, and really feel like, It's in the best interest of the university, and that's always my litmus test. Is it the best uh, thing for the university? And if it is, the tough decisions are not quite as tough. Mm -hmm. Dr. Jerome, Jerry Gilbert is with us, and tell us a little bit about you. Where are you from originally? I detect some southern accent there. Where are you from? Uh, You are correct. I am from Jackson, Mississippi, which is the capital of the state of Mississippi, and grew up there and came to school at Mississippi State, then went to Duke University for graduate school and was in the North Carolina area for a little over 12 years uh, as a graduate student and then on the faculty at North Carolina State. 
uh, and then also at University of North Carolina. Okay, very good. Well, we're going to welcome you here. And by the way, it's always warm and sunny here. It never snows here. Uh, you won't have to worry about any of that. And, okay, uh, well, I am uh, ready for whatever uh, happens there. And I've visited Huntington, and it's just a beautiful city, and I've already fallen in love with it. Lee and I are very excited about living there.